The New South Wales Department of Education and Communities has offered its students uh, the ability to download uh, some key software to support the BYOD policy that has been made available to schools. So students are now able to download um, a personal copy uh, onto their own device, their own laptop or their own desktop at home, a copy of Microsoft Office 2013, or if it's a Mac, Microsoft Office for Mac 2011. Uh, Windows 8.1, Windows 8 and Windows 7 are also available as part of this licensing agreement. So. Um, they can also choose from some Adobe packages, so students can download Adobe Captivate 7, the Adobe Creative Suite 6, Adobe Photoshop Elements 12, and Adobe Premiere Elements 12, along with Adobe Presenter 9. So the department has negotiated a really terrific deal with both Microsoft and Adobe, so that these students can have this for free. So I want to repeat that again, Every DEC student in New South Wales can download and install this software on their own personal device at no cost whatsoever. All right, so how do students get their hands on this? Well, it starts off inside the student portal. So students will use their first name dot last name to log on to their DEC portal. And that's where we'll begin to get this software. So once logged on to the portal, uh, this is a primary school portal, uh, the secondary school portal is a bit different, but logged on to their portal, they will find both in primary and secondary a heading called learning. Uh, it may be closed, so just open up that little window and you'll find the link there. Uh, in both primary and secondary, the link is called Adobe DEC Software Download. Students can click on that link and it will take them to that, uh, that storefront window that I just showed you. Now this uh, storefront window is handled by a company called Cavuto. You can see the Cavuto logo there. Um, so this is the welcoming. You can see that it's um, uh, New South Wales specific. This is just for New South Wales students. Okay, in the top right hand corner, there is an option to sign in. Uh, students must sign in. Uh, before they can do any downloading. The downloading simply won't work unless they've signed in. So uh, let's go ahead and sign in. Once I click on the sign in option in this top right hand corner, um, it's going to present me with this page. I can either sign in or register. For the very first time that you go here, you have to create an account with this particular company. So we'll click on the register button. And to create an account, you need to use your at education email address. That's the email address the department provides you. And if you've forgotten it, so this is what the uh, email address looks like. That's the ending of it, at education.newsouthwales.gov.au. And it will be your first name dot last name. So if you don't often use it, um, you know, if your name is Michael Smith, then it will be michael.smith at education. That's the same one that you use to log into the internet at school. Okay, some of you may have a number after that name, Michael Smith 1, Michael Smith 5. Okay, at education.newsouthwales.gov.au. That's the email address that will go into this box here. So I'm just going to pop mine in. And uh, once I've got that, I'm going to hit the continue button. And I can fill out my some details here. Um, this box down here, I would like to receive special offers and promotions. Look, don't tick it if you're not interested in hearing from this private company called Cavuto. Create your own password. Just check that it must be at least six characters long. All right. And then type in that password again. I'm going to create a password for myself. Proof of eligibility. Now, the fact that I have got an at education password, that's enough proof. Which group do I belong to? Well, I'm a student. So just make sure that you've selected that. Okay. Once you've filled out your information, click the register button. Okay. The next step in this registration process of getting access to the software, have a look. An email has been sent to that email address with the subject 
email address confirmation to confirm the email address. All right, so Cavuto have sent you a message inside your email to check that you are a real person. Um, so we've now got to go back to our email and inside your portal, uh, you're going to have an email option. So for primary schools, the email options on the left. For secondary schools, the email option on the, is on the right. And we're going to click on our email. And in my email, I can see here now, New South Wales Students Web Store. All right, email address confirmation. So that's the email that Cavuto have just sent me to confirm. I'm going to open that up. And there is a link here. Okay, this email is to confirm the email address that you have supplied. Please click the link below to complete the verification. All right, so I'm going to click this email link and that just tells Cavuto, the company who's going to give me the software, that I'm a real person, okay, that I'm, I'm not a, uh, a bug, I'm not some spam, um, but I actually have the right to claim this software. Uh, it also tells me up here that I'm now logged in. It's got my email address uh, and it tells me that I'm logged in. Also, I know that I'm logged in because the option now says sign out. So there's two ways that I can now see that I'm logged into uh, the web store where I can download. So now I can click on Microsoft and I can choose from any of the software to download it um, or I can click on the Adobe ones or I can click and choose any of this software. So for now, I'm going to try and download Adobe Premiere Elements. That's going to be the one that I'm going to click. So I've logged in, I've chosen my software. I'm now going to choose which platform. If you've got a Mac, you can choose a Mac, but I'm using a Windows machine right now. Notice it is free. We don't have to pay anything for it. And I'm going to click on the download link. Make sure that your computer that you're installing it onto um, has got the capacity to run it, of course. If you're using a machine like a, um, a Chromebook, then of course you can't run this kind of software. If you're using a tablet, of course, uh, it would have to be a Windows 8 tablet. Other tablets simply can't run this kind of software. All right, let's add to cart. Before we continue, there is an option that they suggest that if I want to um, have 24 months worth of access to my license materials, I can pay $5. Please remember this is not necessary, it is optional. What that means is that if you forget your license key and you've lost it, then uh, Kavuto will actually reissue the, you with the license key. Now if you're organized or if your parents are going to keep the license key in a safe place, then you don't need to pay this um, $4.95. Okay? And I'm not going to do that because I think I can store the license key for the software myself. I'm going to check out. I'm going to proceed with the order. This is the product key. That is your individual license. Uh, that means that you have the legal right to download and use this software. You're going to need to keep this. Um, so whether you do a screen capture, whether you do a print from your printer at home, Okay, so once you've seen the screen with the receipt heading, you can now head back to your email account uh, because in your email account is a order receipt. There is a start download button and that's the one that we're looking for. Okay, so you hit the start download button. Okay, and what Cavuto is going to do is going to create a software download manager. It's going to install a little program on your computer and that little program is actually going to manage the download of the software. So I'm going to just install that software download manager. Um, I've been asked at the bottom of my screen, let me move it up. The bottom of my screen it says, do you want to run this, which is a software download manager? Uh, yes, I do. I want to, uh, I do want to run that. Or I could save it and then run it. Okay. So I'm going to, um, I've actually run this before, that's why it's asking me. Okay. Uh, the secure download manager has been uh, successfully installed. Once you launch your secure download manager, and it's simply a case of hit the start download button, and then the download manager will over time bring all of that content um, and install that content onto your computer. Once it's finished, 
you'll then find it in your start menu or in your um, in your my programs um, just like all the other software so there's a few steps involved in this hopefully this video is helpful enough uh, to help you get some of that software that the department has organized for you for free